Hi everyone, Kiko from North 771 back with another video. If you happen to stumble upon the like button, please be so kind to click that like button and also click that subscribe button to help my channel grow. I made it to 201 subscribers, so I'm super excited about that. I'm looking forward to making it to 1,000 subscribers. I could do that with all your help. So today, we're here to talk about the AIM controller. I got my AIM controller back. It's been quite a wait, quite a wait to get this one back, but I'm super excited to uh, to start reviewing this one, reviewing the entire process, return process and repair process. So first and foremost, let me talk about the time. Like how long did it take for me to get my my AIM controller? I shipped the controller off on the 3rd of June, which is really sad because they, they guaranteed that it would be delivered on the 11th, which was the next other week, the Thursday of the other week, but we only got it on the 14th. I emailed them that, you know, the control has been delivered. They emailed me back saying that they, they confirmed it and they'll be testing it and, and, um, have a, and uh, they'll let me know how it goes after testing. But I didn't get an email back from them at all for the next couple of days. And they sent me an email on the following Monday on the 22nd telling me that my controller has been shipped off that week. So overall, it took like about three weeks total for me to actually ship the control off and get it back. So it's not bad. It, was, it took like about took, took them about five days to have, for them to have the control repaired, which is like a, a very quick time, I would say. Like it's, it's a really good turnaround. So yeah, so it, it took them a, sh a short time to, to repair and get it back. So in terms of the shipping itself, so M Control promised me in one of their email that if they if they um if they repair the controller and it's that happens to be uh, their fault, something a defect with the controller, they'll be giving back $25 for Canadian shipping or up to $15 for the American shipping. So they haven't confirmed that they'll give me that money back. They haven't confirmed whether or not my, my, the controller actually qualifies for that program, but I've emailed them back, asking them about it. I didn't get a response back. So guys, while I was editing this video, I got an email from AIM Controller confirming that they will be covering the shipping costs. So they do cover up $25 US to ship the item from Canada. So I was able to get a total of $18.77 US dollars, which work out to be $22, $22 Canadian. So they do cover it, which is amazing. How about third, the repair time. So the repair time, as I mentioned before, only took like one week, five days. So I didn't get an email from them confirming that they're repairing the controller. I just got an email that they shipped the controller back and that only took like five days. So it was relatively very quickly in terms of the repair time um, that AIM took. So let's talk about the repair quality. Now, when I got the controller back, it, the box itself had a little bit of um, scuff in it and stuff like that. Maybe from me packing it before and taping it around because I shipped it in the original box. But the controller itself, when it came back, it looked like it was in good condition. They gave me two extra buttons. And as you can see here now, I got a lot more buttons, uh, not, not buttons, like tops. So in terms of the repair quality itself. So when I got the controller, when I got the box back, the box was like scuffed up and there's a lot of damage and stuff on the box and thing. But the controller itself was really intact. Quite, they actually did a good job around that. I checked the buttons and the button that was broken was the... the, the the R2, no, sorry, the L2 button that was not working. The 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 triangle button, which is the button on the top, I triangle button, the Y button is Y button for Xbox, triangle button for PlayStation. But the triangle button was pretty much sticking a little bit, and I checked that, out and it wasn't sticking when I actually initially got it. Um, it looked like they actually repaired one of the uh, back buttons that I actually um, complained about because one of the back buttons wasn't clicking right. Sometimes it presses, sometimes it don't press. I think they actually repaired that for me, which was very nice of them. Overall, the control looks good. Like it looked amazing. It looked like brand new again when I got it back. So the repair quality, I would say is number one. I'll give them, definitely give them a five out of five for that if I was supposed to score it. So let's talk about the recommendation. Would I recommend for you guys to buy an AIM controller? So after pretty much going through the controller, looking at it, testing it out, making sure everything is working right. Um, the entire experience of actually repairing the controller was not that bad. So, so in terms of like, would I recommend the AIM controller here? I'd say I probably would. One thing I would actually recommend is that you guys do not buy the, the digital, the click triggers, the, click, the, 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 the mouse click, whatever they call it. This actually broke within two weeks of me using it. And this is me lightly using it. I love this controller. It's absolutely rad. It goes, fits seamlessly, seamlessly with my PC setup. As you can see here, I got the different lights gone, the PC going on it, and it just matches everything, my aesthetics, everything. So this controller that I would definitely recommend to anyone looking for custom controller, AIM controller is definitely a good company. If their stuff broke the break, they'll stand by the product and they will repair it. So that is one reason why I would definitely recommend the AIM controller. Yeah, overall positive experience. Yeah, so 
that's pretty much my overall experience of actually repairing that aim controller. If your controller is broken, send it back in, have it repaired. Do not keep a broken controller because you spent like over two hundred dollars. This cost me over three hundred Canadian dollars, like two hundred sixty US dollars, and this works out to be over two over three hundred Canadian dollars with repairs and everything. Definitely in the three hundred fifty Canadian dollars bracket. So I'll definitely recommend repairing it because if you don't want to spend two hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars on a controller to have it sitting down, literally becoming a, 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 another piece of furniture <laughs> it's just not practical at all so yeah so thank you guys for watching my video thank you guys for tuning in if you guys haven't done so already hit the subscribe button hit the like button help this video get out to a lot of other folks who are thinking about buying an aim controller uh looking forward to talking to you in my next videos and king of the north 771 saying peace i'm out <laughs>